there! How are you? I'm so glad that you're here today. Today I have a very little book haul to show you guys. I have three new books, but I was really excited to show them to you because I was thinking about saving these until I had more books to show you, but I figured that it would just be nice to have a little book haul. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So the first book, there is kind of a funny story behind. So basically I filmed a spring TBR recently and in that video I was asking you guys if I should read East of Eden during my travels because I'm going to be traveling starting the beginning of April and I wanted to pick a book for my travels and I think I still am going to read. I already promised you guys this year I will read East of Eden but I think I'm going to save it for maybe a little bit later into spring or potentially into summer because I think that that will fit the atmosphere of the book. Um, so I am hoping to still read East of Eden but for my travels while I'm on my plane journey and um, everything while I'm away, I think this book is just really going to fit the time and just the vibes and everything that I'm looking for. This is really a book that I've been wanting to read forever. I have it in the cloth bound edition but I didn't want to bring the cloth bound with me because they're so delicate and beautiful and precious and they're my trophy books I always call them. So I wanted a new edition and these recently just came out from one of my favorite artists. Anyway enough preamble. It is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. This is the beautiful In Bloom edition by um, or from Anna Bond. She is the creator and artist behind Rifle Paper Company and she did the beautiful In Bloom collection for Little Women, Anne of Green Gables, um, Heidi, and A Little Princess and she just did I believe Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and they are incredibly beautiful. She is known for her gorgeous florals, and when I saw this edition, I just thought it was absolutely perfect. Like, you need a close-up with how beautiful this book is. And then on the back, it's so gorgeous. So the back says, to wish was to hope, and to hope was to expect. And I recently watched the movie adaptation, I think it's from the 90s, with Emma Thompson and Kate Winslet playing the sisters, and Hugh Grant and Alan Rickman playing the two main male characters. And I watched it recently with my boyfriend, and it's one of his favorites, and he watched it without me before, and he loved it, and he wanted to watch it with me. And so we watched it recently, and I fell in love with it too, so now we both love it, and I have been desperate to read it ever since then, and I really feel like this is the perfect time to read it. I also, I am such a lover of navy blue, it's one of my, I mean blue and green are always, have always been my two favorite colors, but this beautiful navy with the florals and the gold, I love gold foil, I am just in love with this. These end papers are just so stunning as well and the inside, the formatting, like the margins, the size of the font is just so perfect. The font and the margins are just such a great size because I feel like sometimes, especially with classics, the font can be so tiny and there can be such small margins and it just is a more enjoyable reading experience I think when you have like nice big margins and nice big font and it's just a more enjoyable process. I haven't read a Jane Austen book yet this year. Last year I read Northanger Abbey and I have yet to read Sense and Sensibility. So one of my favorite things to do with Jane Austen is watch the adaptations first and then read the books which is what I'm doing with this one. I know some people are against doing it that way, but it really helps me be able to visualize everything, especially because Jane Austen's writing, because it's more of an older Regency English, um, sometimes I, I get stuck in the, in the wording, and I just think watching an adaptation, at least for my brain, is really, really helpful. Um, and you guys know I love classics, I read a bunch of classics, but even for me, who has read tons and tons of classics, I do really think it's so helpful when you watch an adaptation, and it's just, for me at least, it's more of an enjoyable reading process, because I can visualize things easier and not get so lost. So anyway, so gorgeous. I'm so excited about this one, as you can tell. The next one I am also extremely excited about, and that is Letters to Milena by Franz Kafka. 
and how beautiful is this edition as well this is from Shogun Books New York and it is a I believe it's an imprint of Penguin Random House, and they do these beautiful editions of Kafka's works. And I don't have any Kafka. I have a picture book, which you guys might have seen during the 24-hour readathon that I did with my boyfriend Leon. Um, I can link that if you haven't seen it. But I have been meaning to... Well, I, I listened to the audiobook of The Metamorphosis, but I don't have a copy of it. And I've been wanting to get more Kafka, read more Kafka, and so many people have loved this book. And it sounds fantastic. So the back says, In no other work does Franz Kafka reveal himself as in Letters to Melina, which begins as a business correspondence but soon develops into a passionate but doomed epistolary love affair. Kafka's Czech translator, Melina, was a gifted and charismatic 23-year-old who was uniquely able to recognize Kafka's complex genius and his even more complex character. For 36-year-old Kafka, she was a living fire such as I have never seen. It was to Milena that he revealed his most intimate self and eventually entrusted his diaries for safekeeping. It just sounds absolutely fantastic and yeah, so it's just all of their letters to one another. And again, we have nice big margins and the text I think is really nice as well and I'm just very, very excited about this one. I think what I love about the picture book, um, Kafka and the Doll, that I read during the 24-hour readathon is, like, seeing Kafka, seeing the person that he was rather than, like, the storyteller that he was. After reading The Metamorphosis, it was so interesting to learn more about him as a person, and so this, I'm really excited to just, again, learn more about him as a person, not only as a, as a wonderful writer. So, very excited about this one, and I want to get my hands on more Kafka books, but this was my first one. And then the last book that I have to tell you guys about, I again listened to the audiobook, and it was a very short audiobook, but it's by one of my favorite authors, and I loved this book so much. You guys know that I love children's literature, I love picture books, I am a writer and an illustrator, and so I love I love illustrated books. And this one is from Neil Gaiman, and that is his instructions. This is an incredible picture book. It is written by Neil Gaiman, and it's illustrated by Charles Vess, who is, again, another wonderful storyteller and illustrator. And it says, everything you'll need to know on your journey. And basically, it's like a fantastical journey, a symbol of like the journey of life, if that makes sense. And so the back says, Trust dreams, trust your heart, and trust your story. A renowned storyteller whose words have transported readers to magical realms and an acclaimed illustrator of lushly imagined fairy tale landscapes guide a traveler safely through lands unknown and yet strangely familiar and home again. And this is from Harper. This is an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. And this is just such a beautiful book. I will again show you the illustrations. Oh, the end papers are so pretty. And the illustrations are absolutely enchanting and gorgeous. And I am so excited to actually physically read this now. Because like I said, I did listen to the audiobook, which Neil Gaiman narrates and I love Neil Gaiman's voice. I love listening to his audiobooks because he narrates most of his stories himself and he just has such a wonderful way of telling his stories and performing them and giving the characters their own voices and it's so wonderful. So I'm very very happy to have my hands on this now and I can't wait to look through all the illustrations and read it with my own eyes and my own voice. So very excited about this one and I highly recommend checking out the audiobook or getting yourself a physical copy because it's just such a beautiful story. And what I really loved was my favorite thing about children's literature, I always say this, is how profound it is and how impactful it is and that it's even more important to read children's literature as an adult because the messages behind a lot of children's stories are so deep and um, heartfelt and true and honest about life and um, it's that's exactly what this story is. It's just like this wonderful exploration of 
you know, your journey through life, but symbolized or like reimagined in a fantastical setting with fantastical creatures. And it's so wonderful. So highly recommend checking this one out. So those are the three books that I had to show you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing these new to me books. And I would love to know if you've got any new books recently and if you're excited about them, what they are. And I can't wait to read Sense and Sensibility and let you guys know what I think of it. And these other two books. I mean, I did already read Instructions, but I'm very, very excited to read the Kafka letters. So yes, um, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this little book haul and I hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, thank you for being here and being so kind and wonderful as always. And as always, I will see you in another video and happy reading. <laughs>